Sandra with the Mortgage Centre and I'm here with Jenny Bartlett of the Canadian Home Income Plan. Now, the Canadian Home Income Plan is also known as a reverse mortgage. Okay. <laughs> and so we just uh, finished our Instagram Live and we know that millennials are not on Facebook. So this is for their grandparents, right? And their parents. This is for people our age who have gray hair. <laughs> So the gray is cool now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Is, yeah, I think it is. Well, the millennials are dying in their hair. Awesome. Okay, we're having too much fun, Jenny. Let's talk a little bit about the reverse mortgage. So there are, we, you know what? We are here to dispel some of the myths because we've done a couple of reverse mortgages at our at our office, and um, and what I find is that seniors are really against them. Uh, and you know, once they actually start to learn about the product and how it can, they can use it, they're like, "Oh yeah, I never knew that." So, what is like one of the main myths of a reverse mortgage? Well, I think first we should just sort of say what a reverse mortgage is for okay, anybody who doesn't yeah. know. Good. Um, a reverse mortgage is basically a vehicle that lets you access the equity out of your home. Okay. And it's a mortgage. It's like a traditional mortgage, but you don't have to make payments. So instead of paying principal and interest okay. and paying your balance down to zero, um, in, it's like in a, a lot line of, cases, of credit without payments. It's like a line of credit without payments. So yes, the balance is going to to go up over yeah. time, but your house value is also going to go up over time. Okay. Well, you showed some interesting demographics because um, I think sometimes people feel like a reverse mortgage or getting a mortgage like later on in life is a taboo. But you actually have like some statistics on like this area. I do. It's actually it's very normal. People's yeah. attitudes towards borrowing have changed, changed over the years. Yeah. Um, and actually, in this region, the the Guelph, Kitchener, Cambridge, Waterloo region. Yeah. Um, over ten percent of people over the age of sixty five that are homeowners okay. are still carrying mortgage balances and uh, combined debt balances of over one hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Okay. So, and why would that be the case? Like, what are you guys finding? Well, we're finding that people are, are still working, right? Okay, and yeah. they're spending more. Um, they're and not able to keep really, up. incomes really have their hands up. Yeah. And, we yeah. were just talking about yeah, that. Yeah, so tell us about that. Uh, <laughs> a really good economist uh, talked yesterday at the Mortgage Professionals Conference. Yeah. And he was saying that the biggest demographic growing in the workforce, in the labor yeah. workforce, is actually 55 plus. People are not retiring. Um, but they're also like not jumping ship, okay. so they're not getting uh, wage increases okay. like you would if you were younger because the biggest way or the easiest way to get a raise is to leave and go to another company. Right. So they're staying put, they're not getting big raises, so there's okay. not as much money out there in the economy and it's, it's keeping inflation down. Okay. Which is good, but, but, well, yeah, yeah, but it's not, it's not but, keeping up, yeah, right? Yeah, and so um, I think, like, what, so how do people, how can people use this re reverse mortgage or a line of credit? Okay, well, first off, before we get there, <clears throat> why would someone choose a reverse mortgage versus a line of credit? Because I do have people who are, like, in their 60s and 70s. I just met somebody this week um, who um, had some credit card and line of credit debt. She did not have a mortgage on her house. Uh, and she was talking about getting a secured line of credit. And, you know, like we talked to her and she said, you know what, a reverse mortgage might be a, a good option. So, like, what's the difference between a reverse mortgage and a line of credit? Yeah, they're both good good options. Yeah. But it's like whether you can afford the payments. Okay. Um, or, and whether you can afford, uh, be qualified for even okay. a secured line of credit against your house. There's been some changes in the banking regulations yeah. over the last few years, and they've tightened guidelines. Okay. So as somebody who's retired, your income typically is lower than when you were working. Because your CPP, OAS, yeah. and a little bit of pension. Yeah, yeah. A little pension. And about one-third of Canadians actually don't even have a company pension. Right. So there, there could be cash flow tightness there for them. So, you know, with a reverse mortgage, um, you can access that equity, and payments are optional. About 95% of our customers actually don't make payments. They choose not to, but you certainly could if you wanted to. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. And so how would you use that equity? Like what, when you're talking to people, what are the most common ways to use a reverse mortgage? Okay. <laughs> our, our customer base is actually split up. About 49% are people that want a reverse mortgage. And what they want to do is access the equity oh, from their home to potentially give an early inheritance to their children to go and buy their own home and start building their own equity now. That's all an idea, right? Yeah. Um, they could potentially want to be buying a cottage for the family or maybe uh, they want to be snowbirds and buy a place down in Florida. If you've ever tried to arrange a mortgage in Florida, and I have, 
it is rough as a Canadian, but you could access your equity here in Canada in your home and buy a property down there and build equity down there as well. And it wouldn't change your, your cash flow position at all because you're not necessarily making payments on the chip. You don't have to. Okay. Okay. And then uh, but the other half of our customers are taking a chip reverse mortgage because they need to. They need the increase in cash flow, maybe for health care okay. or because they are still carrying a mortgage balance and it's just too tight. Um, with the income that they've got coming in now. Okay. In That's interesting. So like one of the myths, and we're talking about dispelling the myths of a, uh, a reverse mortgage is that uh, I'm not going to have any equity or the bank's going to take my home from me. Yeah. 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 That is like the most common one that I get. Yeah. Yeah. In Canada. Yeah. <laughs> in, Canada, in Canada, we are our own country. Yeah. We we are subject to the Bank Act. Uh, okay. You know, home Equity Bank that does the chip reverse mortgage is a Schedule One bank. Uh, you will retain ownership of your home. You retain title mm -hmm. uh, just like you would with a traditional mortgage that you had during your earning years. Okay. So nothing changes there. We don't take title to your home. Okay. Um, you also will never own more than your home is worth. And this is different in other countries. But okay. in Canada, you'll never own more than your home is worth. So if the market were to tank and you owed more on a reverse mortgage yeah. than than what the house was worth, we're not going to come okay. after your awesome. state for the difference. Yeah. Um, we just would take fair market value of the home. Okay. Yeah, that's guaranteed. That's in yeah. writing in all of our contracts. Yeah. So what you know, it's interesting that you say that because a lot of these decisions aren't made in a vacuum. And one of the things that we would do at the mortgage center, if you were thinking about looking at a reverse mortgage, you'd come in and we look at the pros and cons. Sure. Uh, Chip has some amazing calculators that we can share with you. And uh, and how, how do they find you? They actually come talk they to me. Come and talk to Sarah. Yeah. She's a certified reverse mortgage specialist. Awesome. She's been through the training. Good. She's done Chip mortgages. I work closely with her and I'm yeah. a local rep, so uh, certainly, you know, we, yeah, we can work together and talk to her first. Yeah, so you can contact us at skipthebank.ca. Um, you can uh, book a one on one consultation right from there. Or if you like, uh, you could also uh, send me a message. So that's it for tonight. Uh, you guys have a nice night and I look forward to uh, chatting with you. Skipthebank.ca.